What's up, BIM students? This is Mr. Brown. I'm here to help you with lesson 5.32. The lesson is titled Social Media Today. The focus of this lesson is twofold. Okay, so there are two things. Number one, it's a little bit of extra typing practice. There is some typing involved. Number two, it is a practice in MLA format. So we are going to be creating an MLA report today. This is a critical skill for school, especially when it comes to the higher levels. So when you get in higher level English classes, especially if you go into college or some other business related things, MLA is required. So MLA stands for Modern Language Association, and it's basically a set of rules and guidelines for how to format a body of text. So what we're creating is a report. This is a, the same rules and the same formatting that you're going to follow for different essays and research papers and reports that you do in the rest of school and throughout your life. So MLA is what we're practicing today. Step one, create a new word processing document. As you see, I've already got it ready. You're going to save the document as report to your home folder. So I'm in home, I'm in Word, and I'm going to save this document as report. Save, we're all set up. Okay, change the font to Times New Roman 12 point. This is dictated by MLA, just as all the things we do are going to be along those lines. The font needs to be specific as well as the size. It's gotta be 12 point font. Enter, so you've got Times New Roman 12 point font. Now we're going to set up the document in, in MLA style. First things first, we need to set the margins. So right here, we've got margins. Right now it's set to normal. So by default, often the margins are acceptable. So one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So we're already set. I'm gonna click it just to make sure, but that is what MLA requires. It's usually the default. Insert a header that includes your last name followed by the page number. So double click up here, that puts you into the header. You're going to type your last name followed by the page number. In this case, you need to insert it. Okay, so don't just type the page number. You're going to add the page number, top of page. You know what, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Go ahead and just do plain number three to the right here. And then next to it, you're gonna type your name and space. So last name, space, and then that page number is automatic. So if you click out, when we have the next page, the page number will update, but your last name will say the same. You'll see that in just a minute. So insert a header, right align the text. Make sure you choose the one that is aligned on the right. So when you insert your header, make sure it is right aligned. Use only one space after periods and other punctuation marks. That's an extra note. Some people prefer to use two, but in MLA, you're only supposed to use one. Next, change the line spacing to double space with no additional spacing. So this is a little bit different than what we're used to. So make sure, click line spacing options. Your lines are going to be double spaced. So click double on line spacing, and then you should be able to remove this zero, zero, double. Once you have that, Click OK. All right, starting on the first line of the document, we need to do what's called our MLA heading. So we have a header, not to be confused with the heading. The heading is going to be in the document itself, and there are some specific URLs you have to follow. You need to type your first and last name, then hit Enter. The first, last, and then hit Enter. Next, you type your instructor's name. So this is the teacher or professor if this is for a college course. So you're going to type, in this case, you would say, if you are in Mr. Brown's class, you're going to say Mr. Brown. If you're in another class, type your teacher's name. Type the title of the course you have enrolled in and then hit enter. So this is going to be Business Information Management. That's BIM class. 
type it out since this is an official report we're going to type out the name of the course and then type the current date left a line and hit enter in this case there's a special format for the date as well so the date today for me is 11 november 2022 okay so you've got that day first space and then you spell out the month and space and do all four numbers of the year that is the appropriate mla format for dates click enter after you're finished that is your heading so those four things in that order and in that style make up the heading of an mla document next we need to type the title of the report as shown in 5.32a the title of this report is social media today but there are some specific instructions here we need to center align the title and do not special format it so don't increase the size don't make it bold or underline it don't do anything to it just type social media today center align is the only special thing that needs to happen in that title when you click enter we're going to go back to left aligned for the rest of this report so next it says Type the body of the report as shown in figure 5.32a. So in this case, we're going to type the body of the report. You want to type it as shown. So we are going to indent with the tab key and type out the paragraphs. This is where typing practice comes in. If you need to fast forward through this part, I will speed it up a little bit and pause it once we get to the final document. All right, finish, it's quite a bit of typing, but if you need to pause now to type out the rest of the report. Okay, once you are finished typing, you are not completely finished yet. We need to insert a page break. So that is going to be the control key and the enter key that always drops you to the next page. Okay, after the last paragraph in the report, and then we need to type a works cited. So in the MLA format, it's called a works cited. This is where we just give credit for any information or writing that we use that was from others. So this report is not something that I wrote myself. So I need to add credit in the works cited. We're going to type the title works cited by center aligning and typing literally works cited. And then on the next line, we're going to type and format the text exactly as it is shown in this figure here, 5.32b. So first thing I need to do is center a line and type works cited, capitalized. And again, no special formatting here other than the fact that it is center aligned. Then we're going to left align and type, okay, Lisa, add a period, space. Now you need to italicize. You can click the italicize button or just type control and I at the same time. Cyber literacy for the digital age. Control I, not italicize, add a period. Next, we're going to say Warwick, put a colon, B, E, publishing important that the name is exactly as it is presented at a comma 2014 is the publishing year at a period and then we are going to say print that is how it was accessed at a period this specific format and specific way is how you give credit in mla format let's go back up here finish up it says carefully proofread your work for accuracy Double check for any errors. If you're pretty happy with it, you've got indented paragraphs with the tab key, not spaces. There are no major glaring errors. Make sure you've got your heading. Make sure everything should look exactly like mine. Once you get that finished, you are going to save 
and submit to your teacher.